Resurrection Grass is not the first bong hit of the day that jolts Willie Nelson's eyes open. He has a different name for that. It's a native Australian grass that seems to rise from the dead after completely drying out during long periods of drought, up to several years. Scientists believe they've solved the resurrection mystery and unlocked the grass secret. What is it and can it be used for other species? Tripagone lollioformis is one of a number of so-called resurrection plants found around the world. The Rose of Jericho, Anastatica, found in the Middle East and the Sahara Desert, dries up and rolls into a ball to protect its seeds for years. The Serbian Phoenix plant, Amondi Serbica, found in Serbia and surrounding countries, can flower after periods of full dehydration. The resurrection plant or false rose of Jericho Selaginella lepidophila lives, dies, and lives again in the Chihuahua Desert of Mexico. According to a new report in Close Genetics, resurrection grass has puzzled scientists for years. Do its cells really come back to life or is the growth actually new cells? Researchers at Queensland University of Technology found that even in cases where the grass loses over 95% of its water, the dead tissues began growing again when watered. The secret, according to the team led by Professor Sagadev Mandri and Dr. Brett Williams, is sugar. Before you go attempting immortality by downing gallons of soda, the sugar in this case is trihalose, which is found in a fungus that grows on dry and other grasses. They discovered that resurrection grass accumulates trihalose when it starts to feel dry and uses it to trigger and control the resurrection process. That process, called autophagy, prevents dried out cells from dying by recycling nutrients and removing the toxins that would normally cause the grass to die. Add a little water and the cells get activated and grow again. What's in this for us, Dr. Williams? It's an important step along a genetic path that we hope will lead to scientists being able to develop more robust crop varieties that can withstand the uncertainty of climate change while still producing maximum yields. Resurrection plants present great potential for the development of stress-tolerant crops. Climate change, of course. Sorry, Willie. Trihalos won't resurrect that stash from 2007 you found hidden in the attic, but it may someday help feed millions whose conventional crops are killed by drought due to climate change.